Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is n to the power of n to the power 3, and this equals 36. We are solving for the value of n that satisfies this equation. Now, if you observe, we have 3 here at the exponent. So, what we can do would be to raise each part of this equation to the power of 3. I have n to the power of n to the power of 3. And this is raised to the power of 3. And this equals 36 to the power of 3. So the next thing will be for us to consider this identity. If you have a to the power of n. And this is raised to the power of m. This equals a to the power of m. And this is raised to the power of n. Now, we are going to consider this n power 3. As a single unit which is let this represent our n we are now making use of this part of the identity and the 3 will represent our m considering this m we have here and the n is for the n we have here now we will now proceed to apply this part of the identity and that means the m, which is this, and that is the 3, is now right here. So this has to come inside the bracket. And also, the n, which is this, will go outside the bracket. So this will come outside the bracket. So let's do that right away. That means we are simply going to recopy this. Remember, the base here is still constant. The n here doesn't change. So we make use of the identity. This identity, that means we are simply going to have n. We have n raised to the power of m. Our m is 3, which is the 3 here. And this is raised to the power of n, which is the n power 3. And this equals 36 to the power of 3. So what we have been able to do is to ensure that the base here is the same as the exponent. Have you seen it? So the n power 3 here is exactly the n power 3 here. So that now that we have achieved that in the left-hand side of this equation, the left-hand side, now let's also do that here in the, in the right hand side. So this is 36. 36 is a perfect square. 36 equals 6 times 6, right? And that means 36 equals 6 to the power of 2 because 6 times 6 is 6 power 2. So we are going to replace this 36 here with 6 to the power of 2. So what we are going to have will simply be n to the power of 3 raised to the power of n to the power of 3 equals 36, which is 6 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3. Now, if you have a to the power of n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. If you have this identity and apply it here, that means you are simply going to get n power 3 raised to the power of n power 3 equals 6 raised to the power of 2 times 3, that is 6. Now let's consider this other identity. If you have a power a, and this equals b power b, that means a equals b, comparing this exponent. So n power 3 with the power of n power 3 equals 6 power 6. That means n power 3 equals 6. So right now, what you can do is to solve for n. And the first step of solving for n is to eliminate this power 3. 
So I can have n power 3 raised to the power of 1 over 3 equals 6 raised to the power of 1 over 3. I have 1 over 3 here, I have 1 over 3 here. Now from here, remember if you have a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. Now we need to multiply this exponent. So what we are simply going to have will be n to the power of 3 times 1 this is 3 over 3. And this equals 6 power 1 over 3. So from here, you simply have 3 over 3 is 1. We have n equals 6 power 1 over 3. Now remember, if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a power 1 which equals the n root of a. So we apply that same identity here. We have n equals the cube root of 6 power 1, which equals the cube root of 6. So the next thing we are going to do will be to test using this value of n. Let's insert this value of n right into that equation and let's check if it's going to satisfy this equation. I have checked my n equals 6 power 1 over 3 or the cube root of 6. And the equation remains n power n power 3 equals 36. I substitute this for n simply going to have n is 6 power 3 that's 6 power 1 over 3 raised to the power of n again 6 power 1 over 3 I have 6 power 1 over 3 and this is raised to the power of 3 and this equals 36 now considering this identity again a power m raised to the power of m equals a power n times n. I multiply this out. We are going to have 6 power 1 over 3 raised to the power of 6 power 1 over 3 raised to the power of this we multiply out this is 3 over 3. This it? So this we multiply out and this will cancel. 3 over 3 is 1 so Likely what we are going to have will simply be 6 right here. Because 3 times 1 over 3, that is 3 over 3, that is 1, and that is out. So no need for this bracket anymore. So we have this equals 36. So right now, we also multiply this out. Using the same identity. 6 times 1, that is 6, so we have... 6 power 6 over 3 equals 36. And 6 over 3 is 2. So we have 6 power 2, and this equals 36. So 6 power 2 is 36, and 6 power 2 is simply 6 times 6, and this equals 36. So 36 equals 36, 6 times 6 is 36, and this equals 36. Left hand side equals right hand side. So this shows the potency of our solution. And that is it, guys. Thank you, and see you again.